And so our story begins. But who is the hero of our tale? Then let her destiny unfold. That's lucky. Like finding a four-leaf clover. <laughs> Although I think I prefer the clover. Oh, look, little sparrow. Castle Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. Imagine the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Luthien's having roast duck this time of year. But he must be really lonely since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, all by himself. Oh, if only we could live there. What is going on over there? Come with me, sis. Hello there, young Rose. You look hungry. Have you reconsidered my offer? We'll never be that hungry. The answer is no. You'll be back. Roll up, roll up. I'll be for you. Right, calm down. Ow! You're standing on my toe. Oh, it's just a trader. I can't see anything past this lot. Come one, come all! A ladies and a gentleman. I have traveled the land, accumulating wondrous and mysterious objects, which I now offer to you for the modest price of five gold. Consider this. This is truly a magical mirror. For as long as you look into it, it will make you beautiful. I'll take it. Very wise. Now, just remember, the magic only works if you look at it in complete darkness. Ah, now this is truly a marvel. This small, unassuming box is actually a device created by the ancients, as used by the old kingdom rulers themselves. <laughs> Turn the handle three times, and you shall be granted a single wish. There's no such thing as magic. I'm going to buy something that works this time. We live in grim times indeed, if the young are too world-weary to believe in magic. Most children your age believe eagerly. 
Look, I can see your eyes are bad, but I'm telling you, that music box is rubbish. That's what the seller thinks. He has no idea what he stumbled upon. But you have an inkling, don't you? Some part of you wants to believe it's magic. What? You... you really think it could be? For five gold coins, you could have your answer. Five gold coins, we can eat for a week. Listen to me, Rose. At the end of that week, you and your little sparrow would be no closer to your dream. No closer to the inside of that beautiful castle. What if it is real? I bet we could get five gold pieces. And maybe this could be a way out of here after all. What is there to lose, little sparrow? Come on. There must be someone around here who'll pay us gold to... do something. What a day! Oi! Kids! Come here a minute! Hello, Derek. Lose something? My arrest warrants blew right out of my hands. They could be in all corners of Bowerstone by now, and I can't leave my post. Hey, why don't you find them for me? You could be like uh, little constables. Sounds fun, right? How much do little constables get paid? Paid? Listen, kids, these are the five most wanted criminals in Bowerstone. Yeah? Well, how badly do you want them? Fine. <clears throat> One gold for all five warrants. Deal. The warrants blew off in that direction. Through the alley by that bloke with a picture box. So, we'll look out for those warrants. But for now, let's find it's some more money. Lifelike instant image. <laughs> Pull the other one. Hello, children. Hello. What's that? This? Why, it's only the most amazing device ever conceived. It grabs your very likeness and transfiddles it onto a magic piece of paper. It's going to make me very rich. If only I could find someone to modelify for it. We'll do it for a gold piece. Hmm. I only have one gold left. But you're right. I should investalize it in my new venture. Uh, deal. A gold piece just to stand there. Sounds all right, doesn't it? Has he stolen anyone's soul yet? Like my Uncle Phineas used to say, you're never too young to grease your elbows, especially in harsh times like these. He looks... Now, all you have to do is strike a pose for my little device. You'll be positively betwazzled by the results. Be what? Ah, yes, I've been improving my vocabularium with a wonderful book bought from Mergo the Trader. A thesaurus. He's a bit silly, isn't he? But this could be fun. Right here. I want to see if that thing works. Uh, Any time you're ready, children. <laughs> Pull the other one. Oh, the crap. I'll stand here all day, me. Nothing. <laughs> oh. Whoa. 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 
wondrous. This thing's going to be more popular than that box. Now, I just have to wait three months for the picture to developify, and I can start showing it around. Oh, I can almost smell the gold. <laughs> three months, he says. Told you it was a swindle. Easy money for us. He's a bit scatty. Hope he's all right. We got our first gold coin, though. This must be the alley the warrants blew down. We should take a look. Bleeding, Rex, let me good. have a go when you've finished. You've made this town a safer place. <laughs> Come here, boy. I got a treat for you. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Having a bit of fun. What's it to you? Oh! He hit a girl. Yeah, and now I'm going to hit another one. Nosebleed, nosebleed, nosebleed. Stop it! Let me alone, you nutter! Ow! Did you see that? That lunatic shot me right in the head! Thanks for your help. I could have taken him, though. Oh, poor thing. You've had a horrible time. Don't be scared. It won't hurt you. What you need is someone nice to look after you. Oh, we can't keep you. We don't have enough food for ourselves. Well, I'm sorry, but we can't. Now you just rest. Come on, little sparrow. Let's go. <laughs> Is that one of the warrants? Well, we have our first warrant. Need help with something? Sort of, yes. You kids aren't afraid of uh, beetles, are you? No, that would be silly. Yes, silly. <laughs> no one's afraid of loathsome, evil, conniving beetles. Well, uh, since you're not afraid, uh, how would you like to ruthlessly exterminate a few that are in my warehouse? That was the best fight ever! We'll do it for a gold piece. Done. Ooh, I hope you can make them suffer. If those hideous vermin ever can suffer. <laughs> You kids can shoot the beetles, shoot to kill. And while you're breaking their hateful little heads open, try not to break any of my stuff. Hey kid, Balthazar owes some protection money to Nicky the Nickname. So how about you leave the Beatles and smash his stock up instead? I'll give you a gold on Mr. The Nickname's behalf. Yeah! Smash him up! Oh, good one! <laughs> 
Great work, kid. You've got a real talent there, you do. That'll teach Balthazar not to pay Nicky the nickname. Here, catch. Oh, I'm ruined. My stock is destroyed. You're not children. You're monsters. You're no better than those savage, vile beetles that are still in my warehouse. That was a laugh, wasn't it? Getting paid to smash things up. And we've got another gold coin. We're really doing it. Wash it down with. Hey, look at that, Betty. Two sets of twins. Oh, you'll get my booze back, won't you? You can barely stand as it is. But they can. Bet they can walk straight, even. Get my booze back from that git magpie, and I'll give you a gold piece for it. He's not even a proper beggar has piles of stuff, and it's all stolen from bodified tramps, like my good self. Let it go, Pete. Save your money for important things. It is his money. Can't he decide how to spend it? She's making all kinds of sense. Well, let's talk about my money. You find that bottle, and I'll pay you to keep it out of his hands. Come on, help an old man out. <laughs> 